check this out. Daily Mail. The eco-hypocrite jet set. I love it. Stars such as Mark Wahlberg, Jay-Z, and Steven Spielberg lecture us about saving the planet, then use their private jets for flights that take just minutes instead of driving. Okay. Interesting. One website has exposed the eco-hypocrites for their not-so-green credentials. The Twitter handle at Celeb Jets, which I had never heard of, but I know of now, chronicled their journeys over the last few months with many trips lasting less than 30 minutes from lift off to landing less than 30 minutes on the airplane. Okay, it gets better. Wahlberg's plane took flight for just nine minutes as it jetted across LA, while Spielberg clocked in at a staggering 17 minutes. That's a long flight, 17. Wow, what did you expect him to do? Stop it. It comes after the social media page outed Kylie Jenner. Oh, for a 12 minute flight across California, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, which saw her branded a climate criminal by furious eco-warriors. Meanwhile, her sister Courtney faced a huge backlash by fans for posting about carbon emissions in February. Now, does this sound familiar to you? Remember we covered uh, Kim Kardashian and Courtney telling you to eat the fake meat? Eat the fake meat, the environment, climate, the environment, naked, you know, me, billions. And then they hop on their jet. What a bunch of phonies, man. What a bunch of phonies these people are. Interesting some stats about what these flights do because, you know, when it comes to carbon emissions, you may not be familiar with what the difference is between getting in your car and getting in one of these planes. This was interesting to me. Steven Spielberg took this 17-minute flight on June 29th. His 28-mile trip from Amsterdam Airport to Rotterdam Airport would have taken him just 36 minutes by car, okay? Just so spoiled. So spoiled. According to Celebrity Jets, the flight used 145 gallons of jet fuel. Can you imagine? Cost him $1,011 for the fuel and resulted in two tons of CO2 emissions. Two tons of CO2 emissions. Now, you might say, well, how does he feel about global warming? Well, that's an interesting question that you ask me. Speaking about his new movie, Ready Player One, in 2018, Spielberg said this, I'm terrified of global warming. Global warming is a scientific reality. It's not a political trick. It's a true piece of real, measurable, quantifiable science. So, okay. These people get on television and they tell you what to do. They tell you, oh, you, you, need, to, you need to stop eating that grass-fed, grass-finished beef and instead eat this crap that has 75 ingredients that I can't even pronounce because, you know, the environment, global warming. And then they hop in a jet and do that. So are you done listening yet? Are you done listening? Please, in the chat, how does this stuff strike you when celebrities do this? Tell me. I want to know. And the list goes on and on. Rapper Drake, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Uh, there was another article that talked about Kylie Jenner. I think she had taken at one point a flight that was three minutes. I mean, like, why? What, what is the issue, really? You know, I don't even understand here. Look, three-minute long flights. And it's interesting if you look at that article, actually. I wasn't going to do this one, but it, thank you for reminding me, Tyler. You look at the comments. Oh, there's some beautiful stuff going on there. Just vibes here. It says, Kylie Jenner out here picking which color private jet she want to take today. Meanwhile, I got to chug my iced coffee before my straw becomes paper mache. Because, you know, they like the paper straws. You ever use a paper straw? Now, listen, I do have an alternative straw that I like because I don't like the plastic because, you know, it leaches. the separate conversation. But they want you to use those, those cardboard straws. You're drinking it. Everything's cool for the first couple of minutes. Then suddenly it's like the, 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 the drink's not coming through. It's all pressed together and nasty. You're eating all that. Ooh, I'm swallowing it. She, you know, that she wants you to do. But she can't get in the car for 15 minutes. She's got to get on the plane. You know why she wants a photo op? You saw the picture she posted on her Instagram of her and Travis. And it's like, which, which ride should we take or something? It's like plane here and plane there. Ostentatious in their, in their, you know, wealth, which is fine. You made great. Listen, you made a lot of money. We get it. More power to you. It's not my money. It's your money. More power to you. Stop telling other people to live like rats, right? With their paper straws and their like meat that has zero nutrient density or their bugs. I wonder, did she eat some bugs on the flight? It's three minutes. You could down some caterpillar. Did she eat bugs? 
did she take some daring? Did Courtney bring over some daring meat and they just popped it in the microwave? And this a woman commented on that on the IG account as well. Why do I have to limit my meat consumption and use paper straws when the 1% gets to pump tons of carbon into the atmosphere for a day trip to Palm Springs? So I loved the comments uh, because people are starting to wake up, you know, because it was one thing when you were just doing your thing and you were a hypocrite. But now it's like you're telling other people to do stuff that's bad for them, that's going to harm them, that's going to hurt them, that's not good for them, that makes them live, makes their quality of life go down, and you're just living it up. You know what? You get pissed enough? I have an idea. Stop watching the Kardashians. First of all, the show sucks. I love reality TV, okay? I'm going to say it again. I loved Naked and Afraid, awesome show, Survivor, Fear Factor. I even love the Netflix shows. Uh, I love The Love is Blind. I'll even tune into The Bachelor. That shit is funny. We're going to get into some of that on one show. I got to break down this season. It's too much. Two girls compete for the same guys. Whoo! There's going to be some spice. I love reality TV, the Kardashians suck. The show sucks. It's boring. It's really, really, really painfully boring. It's not reality TV, it's pretty obvious. It's all stage, everybody's all made up. You wanna watch some reality TV? Go back to the Jersey Shore in the beginning. That was cool. Now I don't even think that's real anymore. I gotta ask my friend Vinny, he's probably not gonna tell me the truth, but it's boring. You want to send a message? Don't buy like six pounds of her cosmetic line or don't, you know, you're tired of these celebrities doing this shit. Just tune them out. Be like, yeah, I'm not buying your shit anymore. I'm tired of this shit. That's how you make your message heard. Your purchasing power. Don't turn on, don't sit, watch the Kardashians be lining your eyes with her eyeliner and be like, oh, this bitch, she lies to me. She'll keep lying, cashing in. And guess what? Maybe next year she'll get a second private jet, which was like, I don't know how many, $70 million or something she paid for it. While she tells you to eat, you know, I don't know what's next, ladybugs, roasted, add a little soy sauce, you won't know the difference. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here, or you can catch the full episode right here.